<laughs> you guys, I'm not. I'm at home. I'm, that's why I'm broken hearted. So yes, I'm heartbroken. I'm trying to get over the six months of, I don't even know what. It's like, I don't want to turn to food again to try to numb all the, the pain and whatever. I tell, I, I feel like I kid myself when I say that I can just be friends with Natter just to like, all the, have all the good things about him in my life, but like the cooking, just like hire him as a personal chef. But I think it would like really hurt me to see him with someone else. Like if you're just friends with somebody, you have to like go through seeing them with other people, you know? Like with pizza didn't bug me because I wasn't in love with pizza anymore when I broke up with him. Same thing with BB. Like I don't, it wouldn't bug me if BB got another partner. I would be happy for him. <clears throat> Cause I don't love him anymore. I'll always have love for him. Like I'll always care about him as a person and love him as a person, but not anything beyond that. So it's just hard. And I know you're thinking like, you're so stupid. Like, how can you be so dumb? My therapist doesn't though. <laughs> I don't think he realizes how he is. I don't think he realizes it. That's all. I don't. It was like in his live stream when he was like, like he unprivated his live stream. Cause I saw that he privated it and like, maybe I should private my live stream talking crap. But then, oh, it's so wish I know. But then, like, in the live stream, like, when he talks about, like, peace, it's just, like, you can hear, like, you, you don't realize you're making yourself look jealous and controlling by not wanting me to see peace. Or, do you know what I mean? Well, any man would not want his girlfriend to live with. Yeah, that's true. But I was living with him before I met you. I'm not a person who does ultimatums, especially ones where I know that they're wrong. Like, I'm not gonna, like, cut my friend out of my life from 20 years. Like, no, it's just not gonna happen. Especially when they don't like him because of, because, you know what I mean? Because of things, like, they've, he's seen me cry, you know? Um, anyway, I'm just sad because I just feel like, like, Toronto was so amazing. Like, the zoo... The day of the zoo is when I think of, like, good in my relationship with him. The zoo is, like, it just felt so loving and nor natural and just fun. I felt like, you know. And it's good for, like, a while, and then it's bad. So I'm just heartbroken that I just can't be good all the time. And I mean like relationships go through bad and good, but this, no, it's not normal. You ever wish you were born in the 1800s? We just live to milk cows, churn butter and have sex. Life. People say life was so much harder. No, it wasn't. If we're not together, it's a good question. It still bother bothers him, obviously. Well, guys, it's 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 complicated. It's like we're broken up, but we still get. I don't know. It's. We still argue about things like uh, choose your best friend. No, I don't mean that. It's not complicated in that way. Um, yeah, it is dumb. It is dumb. I think it is, but he, it's, he's really passionate about it. Yeah. Oh, she's gone, Visa Beauty. She moved into like the country. They were friends, yeah. But he said that he like gotten he got in a fight with her and stopped talking to her because she was 
jealous of me and him being with me and they were fighting over it. So he thinks that I should pick him over Pete. It's not just even the fight, like, let's just, like, yeah, that's a big deal. Like, I, th like, <laughs> I don't know why they just couldn't talk to each other. Like, because of his live stream, he says, like, everyone agrees that... Oh, never mind. I can't even talk about it. If you don't see everything, if you don't see my love for you after everything, then I don't know what to say. Not walk around naked in front of Pete's. Honestly, I will admit, I don't realize, like, if he was living with his ex and took her out to dinner, yeah, I would be mad. I would be fucking mad, actually. So I get it, but, like, it's like he doesn't understand our dynamic. Like, nobody understands the dynamic of Pete's and I. Like, even you guys didn't get it when I moved in with Pete's. You guys thought we were, like, moving, like, we were hooking up. Pete's is my friend, and I have no romantic future with Pete's. I don't want to live forever with Pete's. I want Pete's to have his own life, and I want myself to have my own life eventually. That, that energy has not changed for me. It's a bit different, though. If he, he was living with somebody, like, before I met him, and their dynamic was, like, he was friends with her for, like, 20 years, and they never hooked up for, like, 15 years, I wouldn't feel threatened by it. Because if they're not going to sleep together in, like, 15 years, chances are they're not going to sleep together, like, on a whim. And I was like, I haven't slept with Pete's in, like, forever. Like, it's been, like, I've had a whole other ass relationship since the last... Anyways. It's not like I love that what he says. I it, he acts like I love when Pete's what he says about him. Like Natter seems like the type of person who like, I'm gonna take my right. Like like, like he says that like, uh, I don't talk. I do the walk. So it's like doesn't like when people talk shit about him. But it's like it's just words. Like who cares? You know. He's a very, very, I don't want to talk about him, but he's a very, very emotional person too. Like, very tough guy, but very kind of a baby. Like, I find a lot of men are like that. They're so big and tough, but then they're like little babies when they're sick or like, when I'm not there, I just feel like life stops for him. Like, life stops. Like, he'll be in bed all depressed, smoke a pack of cigarettes, not eat. Like, dude, I'm not going, like, I'm not leaving you forever. Like, I don't, do you know what I mean? Just very, like, insecure that way, too, yeah. Oh, it's not, I'm not attracted to, like, the tough guy look. That's not, that's never been my thing. That's not why I like him at all. That doesn't impress me at all. What I liked about him was the second day I met him, <clears throat> we stayed in bed for, like, 11 hours straight. And that was the first time he ever, like, did an edible, I think. And he was, like, the funniest. Like, he told me his whole life story. He made me laugh so hard. And that was like the second day, I think the second day. I just thought that he would just like really love me after everything everything I've done for him. And Pete said stuff about Natter too. They just made it worse for Chantal. Well, that's what he said. He's like, this is your best friend who's like saying to you, like, he doesn't care that you're going to be mad. But it's still not enough for like, I don't. Pete is just being protective. The entitled. Yeah, like he's just being a protective friend. And then he's like, well, why are you mad at Shannon then? Like, he's basically a Shannon. It's not the same thing at all. It's not the same thing. <clears throat> I just feel like this whole thing with Pete's has made everything so much worse. Like, it's just so bad right now. <sighs> so it's done. It's done with. I don't want to talk about it anymore. All I have is Natter for content. I'm not trying to use him for content at all. I'm not. My aunt wants me to go with her when she goes back to Jamaica and like spend a little bit of time there. I'm not the type of person who would like hurt his feelings either by talking, like trying to make him jealous by talking about men. If I went to Jamaica, it would be like for my aunt, it wouldn't be for men. 
I didn't try to make him mad with Keith at all. I swear. I was just trying to make Pete's happier. Like, what would be ideal for me if I was with Nadra would be, I mean, I see, would see Nadra every day. I would be living with him. He would be the love of my life. I mean, I see, would see Nadra every day. I would be living with him. He would be the love of my life. Pete's would be my best friend. They don't have to like each other. And, but that doesn't mean I still can't have some kind of relationship with Pete's. It's not going to work that way. I was given an ultimatum, so. Romantic fantasy. Why can't I have a romantic fantasy that's real for a change? I'm always told that you're living in a fantasy. You're living in a fantasy. Well, why can't it be reality? Honestly, if I didn't have you guys to share this with, I think I would go nuts. I swear to God. I don't talk to Joe at all. I can't even find him on... Uh... I did block him on WhatsApp, but then... I went to check to see, like, if I could... I had, like, a moment where I was like, I want to ask him why and, like, what happened. But I couldn't find him on there, so he must have me blocked, too.